Hi, Catherine here. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. I'm also a highly sensitive, empathic, creative person. And that's something that I've, you know, struggled with most of my life and had a lot of challenges with. And I still do at times. It's really is a journey. It's a journey of finding what works for us, what, you know, resources we can use to really assist us. So that's that's been my journey anyway. And uh, that's why I'm passionate about sharing different things that I find that have really assisted me as a sensitive person. Now, I really believe that hypnotherapy is something that can really assist sensitive people with a lot of the issues we deal with. I've seen some great results with it with my clients. I've seen, um, you know, just people really gaining in confidence, doing new things, and it really helping to, to tap into our strengths and resources and really learn to relax. So that's a few of the things, um, just touching on those that I'm gonna talk about in this brief video today. So to introduce to you perhaps as a sensitive person that um, hypnotherapy might be something that could really assist you that you might not have thought of and why. So one of the first reasons is that um, in a hypnotherapy session, one of the things that we're doing is teaching your body mind to relax and really programming that into your nervous system. So, you know, definitely that's one of the things we struggle with as highly sensitive people being in that state of relaxation because we're taking in so much information and really often experiencing our environment as being overstimulating and you know, we, we become overloaded and stressed often. And, um, you know, I know that can lead to anxiety and, and over term that anxiety can also become depression and, you know, many other stress-related conditions. So to my way of thinking, uh, learning to turn that around, learning to teach our nervous system to relax can really help with so many things. It can help us to sleep better. It can help us just to feel better, improve our well-being, our vitality, because stress just, uh, it's a burden on your system. It, you know, as, as is well known, you know, stress takes a toll really on your health and your energy levels. And it's so important to our nervous system just to have rest and balance to heal and to rejuvenate and refresh so anything that you can do that really helps you to relax and to teach your body mind to relax as a sensitive person is really going to be a good foundation key piece in my experience so you know coming back to hypnotherapy in a hypnotherapy session what the therapist is doing is really talking you down into a state of relaxation, a natural state of relaxation. Because despite some of its bad press, hypnotherapy is actually a really natural process. It's a natural process of taking, guiding a person into a relaxed state where their conscious mind is relaxed and they're able to connect more with their unconscious mind and learn new behaviors, really um, open up and explore new solutions and possibilities. So it really can open us to whole new ways of being as sensitive people. It's really exciting actually, the um, potential for hypnotherapy to help with so many of the issues that we deal with. So um, yeah, something that you might like to think about. It um, just to go over a few things so you know a lot of the things that we deal with are stress related so you know you can really um, start to find some new ways to manage anxiety through relaxing and there's there's lots of other tools that i've learned along the way that i share with my clients too that can assist with uh, managing anxiety better like breathing practices um, relaxation practices, mindfulness practices. And, um, you know, with, with depression often, um, we're not 
connecting with our resources. We're not feeling a sense of hope and excitement about our life. And they're definitely things that we can start to tap into through hypnotherapy. With hypnotherapy, we set goals and outcomes. And, you know, that already starts to move you from a place of just getting through the day, just getting by, to what do I want? You know, what... Um, and starting with small goals. It can be small goals. It can be, you know... Um, going to a, a beach and, and relaxing for the weekend, something that, you know, going away for the weekend and um, by the sea and having that um, time of relaxation might be something that you don't do and that you'd really like to aim for or, you know, going um, to a particular favourite place you haven't gone for a long time because of anxiety perhaps, um, you know, a concert or an art gallery or something that you really enjoy doing can be something that you aim for in, in hypnotherapy and move toward. So um, we can work with sleep difficulties. I've had great success with that. Um, you know, I had one client that really couldn't stop thinking and relax and sleep. And after coming to me for... A few sessions she just didn't have the issue anymore she was just able to just focus more on the positive things in her life and you know not have that um, thought process going all the time because we'd managed to release some of those fears and anxieties and just she, she felt more relaxed and able to enjoy her life huge huge change in in a few sessions um, some of the other things sensitive people deal with, uh, you know, loss of loss of confidence, loss of self-esteem, um, you know, due to managing things like anxiety and, you know, just being so sensitive and other people's responses to that and the own, your own way that you feel about that. We can really lose confidence and lose, um, you know, our self-esteem becomes lowered and they're things that we can really build on through hypnotherapy through really connecting with your strengths and so much of our resources that we're not using are contained in our subconscious mind in the deeper part of our mind and through hypnotherapy we can access those we can really begin to connect with those and bring those through into our life into our you know into our new feeling states new um and remembered just ways of feeling and being you know perhaps when you're a child you really um, felt great doing particular things maybe riding horses or you know walking in nature and things that you don't do and you can remember what that's like and reconnect with that and you know that's a great way to start reminding your deeper mind of what you really love and what it is to be you know, joyful and enjoy life and really live it fully again if that's something that you haven't been doing due to your sensitivity, due to anxiety, due to so many things that we do with the sensitive people. So, you know, that's, that's a bit about why hypnotherapy is a really great choice for sensitive people. And I'm really passionate about that. I'm really passionate about assisting people to sensitive people to live fully, all people to live fully, to really access our resources and really be the best we can be, live the best life that we can. So thanks for listening. And if you'd like to know more about hypnotherapy, you can have a look at my website, katherineamberhypnotherapy.com or you're welcome to contact me um, through my website. There's a contact forms there and, you know, let me know, ask any questions or you know, make time to talk, book a consultation. So thanks for listening. Have a beautiful day.